from our studio in, uh, in Southern California, where I'll tell you something, I, you know, I know it seems things seem bleak. Uh, on top of everything else we have to worry about with crime, uh, heat, earthquakes, Kanye West, <laughs> there's a new threat on the horizon. According to a new study done by researchers at Cal Berkeley, the wildfires that regularly ravage our state could destroy most of our cannabis crops this year. No! <laughs> yeah, Guillermo, yeah. yes. And, um, cannabis yeah. crops are disproportionately impacted by wildfires because uh, the firefighters tasked with putting them out forget uh, what they're, we're doing when they show up. <laughs> we are now less than two months away from the midterm elections. More than half of all Republican candidates who will be on the ballot in November have either questioned the legitimacy of Joe Biden's victory or actively tried to overturn the results. H how is this a thing? There was literally no evidence of any kind of fraud, certainly not fraud that could have come anywhere close to changing the outcome of the election. Secretaries of state from both parties certified the results in every state, and yet these lowlifes continue with this lie. It's the dumbest thing. Imagine if half the Republican nominees believe that chicken is a vegetable and just say, that's it. <laughs> this is exactly as dumb as that. And it can't possibly be pointed out <laughs> enough times that many of these same Republicans who claim they believe the election was bogus were elected in that same supposedly fraudulent election. Somehow they won and he didn't. I don't know how they managed to thread that needle, but probably no person on the planet Earth is more obsessed with the election than Mr. MyPillow, Mike Lindell. Mike had a run-in with the feds yesterday, and, well, I'll let you hear it straight from the man himself. This afternoon, I was uh, I went down uh, hunting in Iowa for the early teal season with my friend. This morning at 4 a.m., we got up, headed down to Iowa. We are coming back, and uh, we were we stopped to get go through a Hardee's in Mankato, where I was born in Mankato, Minnesota. And cars pulled up in front of us, to the side of us, and behind us. And I said, um, "These are either bad guys or the FBI." Yeah. Or maybe you're in an episode of Mankato Vice. We don't know. <laughs> I, I have so many questions about this. Like, was the FBI following him? Or did they just say, you know what, eventually he's going to go to Hardee's. We'll just wait here. <laughs> I have a feeling the FBI followed around for a few days and finally stopped him in the place that would make the funniest headline, which was Hardee's. And for that, I commend them. Hardee's, by the way, felt the need to weigh in on this. They tweeted, now that you know we exist, you should really try our pillowy biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, a sad tweet, I mean, but... The FBI is reportedly looking into Mike Lindell's connection to a Colorado County clerk who was indicted for trying to illegally download data from election equipment after Trump lost by 7 million votes. But unfortunately for the pillow man, the news of his legal predicament has not garnered the outpouring of online support he'd been hoping for. This is going to be big breaking news here right now, everybody. And get all your friends out right now. We just did a notification push. I'm on Facebook Live over here. It's kind of funny. Brandon, tonight that Mark Zuckerberg's only allowing 40 people on my Facebook Live. Can you believe that? Yeah, I can believe that. I, uh, yes, I can. Goes, uh, we're taking your cell phone. We have a warrant for your cell phone. I go, no, I said my whole company... I run five companies off that. I don't have a computer. My hearing aids run off this. Everything runs off my phone. I said, and then I said, if I don't give it to you, will you arrest me then? And, they, and I, I was just, you know, I'm going, are you kidding me? You're not getting my phone. And then he gave him his phone. And, um, and the phone they confiscated was um, this uh, Fisher Price model that he runs his company from. How funny, how funny is it the guy who claims to have figured out an ultra-sophisticated plot to hack into and overturn our uh, elections doesn't own a computer. He running his business from his Motorola Razor phone that the FBI now has. So the guy who got Mike into this mess in the first place, Donald Trump, issued a furious statement on his pretend social media platform. He wrote, breaking news, Mike Lindell, the pillow guy, was just raided by the FBI. He's raided. America is officially living in a weaponized police state. Suddenly, he's against weaponized police states. Listen, 
Investigating potentially seditious acts against democracy does not make this a police state. The state of Nebraska accessing a 17-year-old's Facebook messages to arrest her for getting an abortion, that makes us a police state. But this, you get it? No, I'm guessing no. But Mike Lindell, God bless him. He is he's so deep into this. He is not going to let legal trouble stop him from supporting those who believe the nonsense he believes. Today, Mike doubled down and released a new endorsement for another favorite local candidate. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, CEO of MyPillow and Mr. January and Minnesota's mustache of the month calendar. America needs leaders who can fix our economy and that's why I'm endorsing Fat Pete for Treasury Secretary. <laughs> Fat Pete is a fellow I used to sell stolen appliances to to support my habit of ingesting crack cocaine. And let me tell you, he'll do so great at the Treasury. This guy is good with cash, and funny too. Fat used to keep me in stitches, literally. One time he busted my nose with a wrench for trying to sell him a VCR with a sandwich in it. <laughs> That's how I know he's tough too. Fat Pete broke four of my ribs with a pool cue just cause I gave his dog Cooper half a Snickers bar. How was I supposed to know Cooper was allergic to chocolate? But that's how I know Fat Pete is good at delegating responsibility. Cause he wouldn't give me back my keys till I cleaned all the Rottweiler diarrhea off of his mother. And I'm confident Fat Pete will make him clean up Worsted too. I'm Mike Lindell and I'm endorsing Fat Pete so he don't put me in a trunk with no rats again. Paid for with a stolen dishwasher Mike janked from an ex-brother-in-law. All right, well, you know, I'd, I'd vote for a Fat Pete. <laughs> Mike Lindell's um, favorite county clerk isn't the only bobblehead representing the state of Colorado. Lauren Boebert treated her friends at a religious conference to a reading from a version of the Bible that was adapted for a decidedly less literate group of worshipers. Rampant, evil, grabbing and grasping, vicious, backstabbing. They made life hell on earth with their envy, wanton killing. I don't know what a wanton killing is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that one up. Lauren, a wonton killing is what happens when Donald Trump goes to an all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet. It's, and if you see a wonton killing, call the gazpacho immediately. We have a member of Congress who needs help sounding out the menu at Panda Express. In more positive news, over the weekend, Disney had uh, the annual D23 Expo in Anaheim. This is a big adventure where all the stars show up to announce the various Star Wars and Marvel and other big Disney projects on the way. And we wanted to be a part of the action. So we sent our crew to have some fun with some of the actors who were there. We told them we we're trying out an app, uh, one of those which Disney character are you apps. But then we slipped in a, you know the phrase results may vary? Well, these uh, definitely did. Hi, I'm Anthony Mackie, and I'm about to find out which Disney character I am. Here we go. Three, two, one. Please let it be Snow White. Ooh, ooh, it's getting good. I see Nemo. Who's it gonna be? These are going so quickly that I can't tell who is who. I hope I get Bambi. Uh, that's a leg and a foot and an ankle. I guess that's... I mean, I'm happy with that. Um, Please let it be Snow White. Please let it be Snow... Oh, come on. <laughs> Give me a... He's not a Disney character. All right, shake it. Oh, come on. Is this a joke? <laughs> this is a joke. I hate Jimmy Kimmel. Oh. Uh... I don't know what character this is, but it's goat nipples. Here we go. Oh, now it's stopped. What's that? I'm a Band-Aid. I don't know what that character is. And let's see. <laughs> it's just, it's a crying baby. This is a, a pretty accurate depiction of who I am. Yes. <laughs> Adventures in a glass, that's perfect for me. I am that one. Oh, I'm a hot dog. <laughs> Carrot Top. That's not a Disney character at all. Uh, apparently, I'm Carrot Top. 
I am uh, what you use to clean toilets. Perfect. Please, 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 give me something good. Please, 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 please. What the heck? Why did I get a Why did I get a trash can? Why did I get a trash can? What character is this in a Disney movie? I want to redo. Let me see. Okay. What? <laughs> oh, this what is this? I, I don't. I mean, I drink oatmeal. What is this? Okay. So I now I stop it. A shoe! It's a croc! I have crocs on me. Okay. <laughs> it knew I was a croc at heart. Ooh. What app is this? I'm a foot. I'm a foot. I seriously, thi this looks like beans and bacon. Why can't I be Mickey or something? Vodka. This game really knows me. Uh. Mayonnaise. All right. I'll do it again. I'm hoping for Snow White. Let's see if I get her. OK. Um, this game is over. Get out of here. Get out of here. You guys are ridiculous. I know who I am inside. To all our Disney characters, we know who you are inside too. And It's after the commercials. Oh, but. I know, I know. But I, I just, I have a little favor to, to ask, okay. actually. Yeah, oh. so you know how when you win an Emmy, you only have 45 seconds to do an acceptance speech, which is, like, not that much time? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And then someone does, like, you get less time because someone does a dumb comedy bit that goes on a bit too long? You know, I have heard of that happening in, yeah, in previous years. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I have. Right. Yeah. Well, I was wondering, or more... You know, demanding if I could, th you know, have a couple of extra minutes to thank, you know, a couple of extra people. Oh, to I didn't thank get some to people on Monday night. Absolutely. Right. Right. Yes, okay. take all the time you okay. like. I'll thank go stand you. back thank here. You. Okay. So, thank you again <laughs> to the Academy for this amazing honor. I'd also like to thank Randall Einhorn, Michelle Nader, Big Andy, Margie. Aaron Warrenberg and Channing Dungey, Craig Erwick, Adam Siegel, Persona PR, and all of the fans of the show. And, and the internet for raising me. And to all my Abbott Elementary writers watching, I wouldn't have this without you. Now please go to bed, we have work tomorrow. Even though you're adults and I have no jurisdiction over when you sleep. Thank you. Thank you. While you're here, would you like to throw the break? Yes. It's sure. just the yeah, we right, right, right there. There you go, okay. right there. Okay. So we have a good show for you tonight. From the Lord of the Rings is Ismail Cruz Cordova. <laughs> We've got music from Kane Brown. <laughs> and we'll be right back with Emmy Award winner Quinta Brunson. <laughs> <laughs> 